We are boarding the Celebrity Silhouette. This is one of Celebrity's older ships, and in today's episode, we're gonna be trying some food and exploring some of the more unique spaces aboard this ship. So let's get out and let's live a little. We are off to the airport to get on our next adventure. Poppy is coming with us, but she will be staying with grandparents and will not be on this video with us. I just wanna say we're going on a cruise and for once, I am not the one eating. Well, you ate my meal on the plane yesterday. And so I honestly didn't have any dinner. You were in first class. Yeah, but I didn't have any dinner. They asked if you wanted any. I didn't really eat it, it was more poppy. I had a coffee. You, on the other hand, have a burrito. Yes. It's cruise day. Okay, so we just got to the port. We arrived in Florida last night, left Poppy with grandparents. So unfortunately, Poppy is not on this trip with us, but we're gonna have a lot of fun. We are doing Celebrity, as you probably saw in the thumbnail. And we're doing the Celebrity Silhouette. silhouette. Yep. So let's go and let's have some fun. Should be a good trip. So if you've watched some of our past videos before, you might be aware that last time when we were here, we missed the retreat section of the pre-boarding for this cruise. So this time we made sure we were very attentive and made sure we went to the right place so we didn't miss all of the fun pre-boarding stuff. Coffee and tea. Ooh, yummy, yummy looking snacks. and cookies and pastries. Let's go! <laughs> Let's take the stairs, not worth waiting for the elevator. Let's go. Jack's got the big heavy metal suitcase with all of our gear in it. So if you're new to cruising, usually you can't go to your rooms until three or four o'clock. If you're in a suite, they tend to let you go and at least drop your stuff off. And no matter what room you are, your keys will be on your door number. So you just grab your keys and go in. We checked out our room. I have a full link below in case you're curious and wanna check it out, but we headed straight over to the lounge to check that out. Since it is an older ship and we've only been on newer celebrity ships, we were curious as to how they did the lounge area. And then typically our favorite thing to do once we get on board is to check out the ship and all the different spaces. And we will, later on in this video goes along, we'll kind of give you a sneak peek of all the little spaces on the silhouette. But first, we wanted to grab some lunch. So we headed over to Lumine, which is the specialty dining for the retreat, for the sweets, and grabbed some lunch. And just a little tip, if you've never done the retreat before, for lunch, they do have a lobster roll, and this is the only day that the lobster roll is offered. So just in case you're into lobster, good little tip. So shrimp ceviche, Emma? I did the same thing, as well as a kale salad, and as well as an entree. I'm hungry. I didn't eat a burrito in the car. This is all I got. I suck an appetizer. Let's dig in. <laughs> For my entree, I did the butternut squash for Fali. I don't know what I was saying here, but it was very wrong. It was definitely very good with some burrata and sage on top. It, it was tasty. This is the chocolate something. I don't know, I'll note it below. Me and Jack are sharing this. I'm not that big of a pig to also get dessert on my own as well. We are not sharing this. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. <laughs> I'll take a bite. <laughs> After our very delicious lunch, we decided to walk around, explore a little bit, and then grab some bubblies for sail away. So unfortunately, it was a little rainy for our sail away, but we were on a corner aft suite room. We've never had a room in the back of the ship before, so we were kind of looking forward to a pretty cool sail away. We definitely made the best of it, but it was a little wet. Okay, so we are heading to Lumine for an early dinner. We are both pretty exhausted. We've kind of just been walking around the ship, tried the spa raffle, did not win. And so we're gonna do Lumine and a show tonight and then Jack wants to gamble. So let's go, have a good day, have a good night. It's not day, <laughs> that goes to show how tired I am. I need more coffee, let's go.
So surprise, surprise, I did two appetizers again. I did the pork belly first, and then I did a salmon one as well. But this pork belly looks delicious. My second appetizer is the salmon, which looks very, very, very tasty. Excited to go for it. Someone's making fun of me for getting two. I went with Caesar salad on the healthier option with dressing on the side. Let's go to Emma for instant analysis. I went with the filet mignon, and Emma went with the bucatini. Bucatini, which has sausage and tomato sauce, and it just looks good. Sorry for the lines, they're not here in real life, it's just the lighting and the camera settings. I forgot the exact name of our dessert, but it was a delicious chocolate and hazelnut dessert. Okay, so we just finished up dinner at Lumine. It was really tasty. Yeah, the good. The smoked salmon thing was, appetizer was delicious. And the pasta was pretty good too. You're, yeah, uh, yeah that's filet mignon. Filet mignon, that's the word I'm looking for. That was surprisingly tasty as well. It just felt like they cut the menu down a little bit. Yeah, I would say on a smaller ship, it seems like they just like took off maybe like an item or two from each section, like the appetizers, entrees, and desserts. Um, but it was, it was still really tasty. I have to say, quality may be a tiny bit better. And the restaurant also was way quieter than the big ships. Oh yeah. So now you wanna go gamble, and then we're gonna go see a show tonight. So we will see you at the show. Let's go. I needed a drink. We just left the casino. I will give it to Jack. He did not do bad, but as standing there, my watch alerted me that my <laughs> heart rate was really high for the past 10 minutes without moving, and I think I finally proved to Jack that gambling stresses me out, so here we are. <laughs> We just did some origami. We made a little butterfly and a fishy. And a fishy. I know Poppy will enjoy these. That was pretty fun though, right? A little, little activity took about, what, 30 minutes? Yes, it's good to be a busy bee. <laughs> but yeah, that was a fun little origami craft. Okay, so we weren't filming at all today, but we did go to the theater and saw the magician. Who's also a comedian. Who is 100% a comedian. The cards when I count to three. <laughs> That's uh, the best thing we've seen so far. He 100% made up for the what we saw yesterday. Yeah, we didn't last. We lasted maybe 10 minutes on that one. But he was fantastic. Yep. We will see you tomorrow, which is going to be two seconds of your time for the rest of your sea day. Good morning. So we saw you the other night. We are in Nassau today, and we are just pretty much hanging on the ship. You know, enjoy this beautiful day. And let's walk around the ship a tiny bit. We'll show you some of the unique or, or cool different areas like for example the lawn right behind me and i don't know let's just have a good day let's go so up on the lawn they have this amazing humongous adirondack chair they have one on both sides it's just kind of a fun photo op but also on the lawn up here give me a second to get down they have a humongous lawn hence the name and this is a really great spot this is real grass on the ground, not turf. And there's actually somebody's sole job on this ship is to take care of the lawn, mow it, keep it alive, all of the above. And they do some really fun activities up here. They do like bocce ball and cornhole. You can have a picnic up here if you really wanted to. And then they also have these cabanas over here where you can rent them up to four people, I believe it says online. And you basically get like room service, but it's got shade. You can hang out there. I think it'd be a great one if you had kids. The parents might want to just chill out in there. And then the kids could play on the lawn here. It's just a really fun, unique area with the lawn. Okay, so if you come up on deck 14 in the front, you go up these stairs to the retreat and let's go check it out. Come on. There are two sun decks for the retreat on this ship. I meant 15 and 16. Let's check out 16 first. So they have a large amount of seating up here, all different kinds from loungers to day beds to just nice comfy chairs. 
and it's all kind of spread out throughout the whole space. Okay, so let's go check out 15 now. We've got a huge hot tub and a lot more seating as well. Now let's go down to deck five and go to the retreat lounge. Okay, so if you're coming down from the sun deck and you want to go to the retreat lounge, you are on the opposite side. It's more aft than it is forward facing. So you come down the elevator and now let's head all the way over. So right before, <laughs> right before you get to the lounge, if you can hear me, you come into this very nature-esque area with all the walls painted and they're piping in all the nature noises. It's different. Now let's go check out the lounge. So the only thing that I did notice about these is there is no key card access for this retreat door. There is for the sun deck though. But let's go check it out. There is also concierge sitting right there when you walk in. So if you're not in the retreat, they would know. So the sun deck and this area you can only access if you are a sweet guest and part of the retreat. Okay, so when you leave the retreat lounge, if you want to go down to Lumine, it's basically right underneath it on floor three though, instead of five to three is where you gotta go. <laughs> Let's go check it out. Oh, and Lumine is the restaurant for retreat guests. Let's go check it out. So Lumine is actually closed for lunch today. It is lunchtime right now, but let's go see if we can check it out. It is a port day, so that's why it's closed for lunch. Let's go. This here is the central atrium area. So this is the martini bar, and when it's open, it's not open right now, this whole counter is all ice. It's so cool. And if you've been on some of the newer celebrity ships, they still do the martini show with the pouring of the martinis in all the different colors and everything. But this is a really fun bar to check out. We will definitely be doing it later on today. If you've watched us before, you know we love a good bar. This is another fantastic one to stop at. This is Craft Social. They've got a lot of beer options. It's kind of that like craft pub bar feel to it. It also has that sports bar kind of feel. If you want to watch sports, this is where you come. They're going to show all the sports games here. And it's just kind of that like nice, fun, chill puppy vibe. I'm a fan of this barrel seat. It's pretty fun. <laughs> For the casino, Jack's favorite place. We don't usually film in here when Jack's actually playing because you're not allowed to when you're at the table. You can film the slots, but we, well, Jack, I hate gambling. Jack predominantly does the table games. And this would be Jack's game. What's the name of this? Texas Hold'em. So we don't want to do a whole ship tour, but we we're just showing you some of the like key spots on the ship that are a little bit different. There's a lot of bars in the ship. Not gonna lie, a lot of them kind of look like the same one after another, just on different floors, but we're just showing you some little peeks to some of the more unique spots. Like over here, you have Quasar. You have Quasar, which is like your DJ clubby area. So up here on deck 14, you have the Sky Lounge. This one's really, really cool. It's the front of the ship. So it has fantastic views, especially if you're at sea. Personally, this would be a really cool one if you were in Alaska. Um, I would love that. <laughs> it also has a really fun bar in here. Unfortunately, it's not open right now, but we will definitely be back later. And we will get a drink for our Zodiac sign, which is just kind of fun. So let's go check it out. We'll be back for a beer later, or I mean a cocktail. So we've actually had some of you guess my zodiac sign correctly, but not Jack's. So take a guess in the comments below on what you think our zodiac signs are, and then you'll see a little later on the video what they actually are. 
So on deck 14, it's also the Ocean View Cafe, which is the buffet, which is on the other side of the ship. Let's go there now because I need some food. Let's go check out the buffet for some lunch. So as you walk in to Ocean View Cafe, it now has like this, with all the little logos of where to find the food. You know exactly where Indian is. <laughs> Indian? There's also vegan. Indian station. There's, There's also vegan. vegan. Yeah, next to Indian, this is vegan. Well, that should help the flow in the buffets. I like that. Yeah, I like that. So like Jack did some Mexican, some rice, and then a Mexican salad. And then I, surprise, surprise, did some Indian food and a little bit of salad. If you've never done a cruise before, Indian in the buffet is always my favorite and always the best. We do not have Poppy with us on this trip, but if we did, there is camp at sea. And I'm not going to lie, I kind of want to go. I was looking at some of the itineraries. They made like robots and all these really fun activities that they had. And it just looks like a lot of fun in there. They've got books and toys and crafts and I'm a sucker for a good craft. So it's a great option if you actually have kids. She will be coming on our next celebrity one. So we'll be able to talk a little bit more about the kids club then. Now let's check out probably one of my favorite spots on this whole ship. It's the center where the elevators are and there's a live tree in the middle. How cool is that? Okay, so over here is the hideaway, which is a fun little area to kind of sit and enjoy. Got a bunch of different kinds of seating. Come on, let's check it out. You got fun things like this little bubble seat, which is really comfy. And then you've got bird's nests up above. This spot would be a great one if you got a book and you want to just chill out and read. And then you've got three of these fun, unique ones. Personally, I think they should have another chair in here so you could put two or three people in, but it's supposed to look like kind of like a little bird cage. And you've got one on the main floor and then you have two up above that Jack will show you that we were in the other day. Then it was time to head over to the retreat lounge for a nice little cocktail. Okay, we may have just booked something for 2025 that it is going to be the most epic thing we have done probably here to date and I am so excited for it. But so, you won't see it until 26. You won't but. see it yeah, it's the end of 2025, but it's gonna be cool. So if you haven't hit that subscribe button, make sure you do so you don't miss all our cool stuff that's coming up. We went back up to the bar to get our astrological cocktail but so they only have six of the 12 signs so i am an aries and they do not have an aries so i took jack's which is a taurus and that one sounds good it's got gin saint germain mango lime and ginger and a little bit of sage even though that's mint on top so that's a little not right but that's okay and what did you get jack the libra libra bourbon peach puree lemon simple server mint Cheers. Cheers. Not bad. What do you thought? Not bad. We met a lovely couple and we went to dinner with them. And we went to... Tuscan? Tuscan is the Italian restaurant. You ate all of your fish. You had bronzino. What bronzino you was cooked perfectly. Fresh. They caught it right from the ocean. <laughs> brought it right to me. That's why yours came last. Yeah. <laughs> um, That's what the waiter told me is yeah. they had to go catch the fish yeah. and bring it. I had done the short rib pappardelle. The short rib in it was really tasty. The pappardelle was cooked fine. Um, the sauce was decently salty, but it wasn't bad. I feel like if you have a balcony room, I would suggest it. It was a it was a good meal. Balcony room? Yeah, if you're in a balcony or an interior, okay. I would suggest it. If you're out, not if in the suites. If you are in Lumine, I think Lumine better. is better, Yep. in my opinion. And then we stopped off at the martini bar for a hot second, did our little name in the ice, which is just fun. And then we saw the show, it was called Life. I believe it was a similar one to the one we had seen on the Apex, but different songs. It was better than the last singing show we saw. I would saw. say the shows we have seen on the Apex, the Edge Class ships, have been better better than the, this yes. one. 
I mean, but the comedian magician the, the other comedian night. comedian was the best. That we did film a little so. bit. He was fantastic. He was awesome. It's hit or miss on this one. Yeah, I would say the singing is, is hit or miss. We lasted longer on this one, though, than the, the other yes, song we singing made one. Yes, two songs. So, till next time, get out and live a little. Bye, guys. What the heck is going on today? What happened? <laughs> I don't know. Our birthdays are in April. It's the beginning of March. Happy birthday! Um, maybe I checked the wrong box. <laughs> we also were at dinner and they lit a candle and gave us a birthday cake. I know. What the heck? What is going on? We already what had one of these at dinner. Oh Ooh. my goodness. Chocolate covered I mean, I won't say no to the strawberries, but um, it's March 9th. Our birthdays are both April. This is lovely. It's not our birthday. <laughs> I think I made a mistake. <laughs> oh well, happy birthday, Emma. Happy